Hi everyone, my name is Shani, and today my partners Daniel, Elliot, and I will be performing the iodine clock experiment to test for the rate of reaction. Today's experiment will be done in front of a live studio audience. The iodine clock experiment involves a delayed reaction between potassium iodate and sodium metabisulfate. For this, we will need the two reactants, a timer, concentrated HCl, soluble starch, four beakers, three graduated cylinders, and two volumetric flasks. Student A must weigh out approximately 1.3 grams of solid KiO3, record the mass, and add the sample to the 250 milliliter volumetric flask. Fill it to the line with distilled water to dissolve the solid and transfer the solution to the 400 ml beaker. We now have an approximately 0.024 molar solution A. Meanwhile, student B must prepare a 0.008 molar solution of sodium metabisulfate by weighing out roughly 0.15 grams, recording the exact mass and mixing it with distilled water in the 100 milliliter flask filled to the line. Pour the solution into the 150 ml beaker. Now, move to the fume hood and carefully add 10 drops of 12 molar HCl. Be careful because the acid is highly concentrated. Finally, Add a scoop of soluble starch and stir it to complete solution B. Now that the preparations are over, it's time to start the lab. Measure out 5 milliliters of solution A and transfer this to a clean 150 milliliter beaker. To slow down the reaction, we'll dilute the solution with water, lowering the concentration of potassium iodate. The first trial calls for 40 milliliters of distilled water and each subsequent trial calls for a slightly smaller amount. Use a different graduated cylinder for each measurement to avoid contamination. Finally, measure out 5 milliliters of solution B and add this to the last small beaker. Now, pour solution A into solution B and make sure someone is timing the reaction from that exact moment. Only stop when the blue-black color is even throughout the solution and record the time to the nearest second. Repeat the lab for every trial with the different amounts of solution. You should notice the reaction getting faster and faster. And of course, don't forget to clean up! <laughs>